Hello, this is Majid Haydari from Ozenic Engineering. So, today I would like to discuss about how we can model the cell phase modulation, I mean nonlinear effect through the nonlinear waveguide using the lumerical interconnect. So, as we, kn as we know, lumerical interconnect is a photonic integrated circuit solver. So, I will, I click on a new project so then I so this is a like GUI of lumerical interconnect I, I introduced this environment before so I will open the the project that I already created so as you see here in this project the circuit so this is our nonlinear waveguide and we have a pseudo random generator with 2.5 gigabit per second and we have a in this modulated with a Gaussian so with a frequency of 1550 nanometer and the power of like we can we can change this power so we have an oscilloscope and a spectrum analyzer for the time and frequency domain monitoring so these are these two like tools can be used for input and then so this is the the, the output of Gaussian pulse goes through the uh, nonlinear waveguide and then we monitor the frequency and time domain with the oscilloscope and a spectrum analyzer as you see here so we create a circuit so regarding to the uh, nonlinear parameters so if I select the nonlinear waveguide so in the nonlinear waveguide the length of waveguide is two centimeter so this is a dispersion dispersion parameter so regarding the, the unit and the, the value of this parameter please look at my previous slides that I described how we can like convert it to the picosecond nanometer kilometer that we have in the like uh, like most of notebooks so this is a nonlinear index uh, 6e minus 18 uh, meter square per watt and this is effective area 2.5 e minus 13 meter square so and in this case just we have a nonlinear effect, the other parameter like self stepping effect or Raman effect or two photon absorption. So these are disabled in, in this part. So I will create another video that like how we can model a two photon absorption, free carrier absorption, and I will describe uh, this parameter in a separate video. So let's focus in this video, let's focus just self-phase modulation so let's delete the uh, sorry let's delete the the sweep that I generated before we'll create a new sweep so for the sweep so if I select create a new parameter sweep and if I put like our sweep then right click on the power sweep and select edit so then select add for instance if we change the power because we want to change the power of the input like as a Gaussian pulse and uh, so actually we want to change the like the power of Gaussian pulse as you see here so the, the power now is 3 watt, but we want to change from like, for instance, from 1 watt to, uh, to 10 watt. So let's look at the, let's change the in of Russian. We select the power from 1 watt to like 10 watt and then we want to see the result like P out uh, 
a spectrum analyzer, the output of a spectrum analyzer. So then I will select OK, and then we will run the simulation. So as you see here, we have like uh, 10 simulation, 10 power sweep. So we are waiting to our simulations to be finished. So the simulation is finished and now we can select the, the sweep and see the visualize, P out. So as you see here, like if I select the log scale, and just focus on the, on the pulse. So you see that as the pulse propagate, so as we increase the, the power of input power, we can see that the, the pulse broaden in a frequency domain.